Sue's back, back again. Guys, this is the first time I'm picking up the camera in so long. I'm so sorry there's not been a video. And you know what we haven't done in a while? A B-roll clip. Let's roll the B-roll. basically just been cafe hopping all day today it's literally like nearly 40 degrees really hot here in London so something that I've been working on today has just been that mindset course that I think I shared back when I was in Thailand um, I've been working on that today and just getting back into the routine of working even editing this video I wanted to do a comeback video Kind of just summing up my travels before I posted the ICT monthly review so that will definitely be coming up I think the week after so stay tuned for that and yeah I just wanted to put in a quick montage of what I've been up to in Thailand Philippines just to get you guys up to speed travel and trade they said so far as I've been out in Asia I've literally had my bike accident, how many books you read, hand accident, Bruh. food poisoning, been scammed, it's, it's been great. Um, but anyways, that's pretty much the update. I haven't really been training much or even learning ICT content just because of my hand. And to be honest, the first two weeks of going into Philippines, I was back to back. Bruh. Can you guys hear that? That's how you know you're a Philippines because the thunder is just on another level. Yeah, the first two weeks of coming to Philippines was just so stressful because I was just back to back meeting family, dropping off Basalubong. Like, I just feel like I could not breathe. Um, but I'm, I've come back from Shargao and I kind of have nothing on my schedule. So hence why I've actually picked up a camera and thought, you know, to film. It's definitely hard to be creative or to even think about like myself or like mental health stuff. We stayed overnight in a place called Via Elise in the... It's like Bali vibe, Seminyak Villa here, just overnight, it's really nice. So I keep thinking that if my hand has actually become a blessing because I feel like maybe it was a sign from God to stop me being stupid in Shargao, maybe from cliff jumping or surfing or something like that. So obviously I couldn't really do any water sports, water activities. Um, so I've kind of taken it as a sign to like rest and slow down. Just like that, we are back in London. Um, I realized I didn't actually get to explain what happened to my hand or my fingers that much. Um, so I wanted to quickly explain because I got a lot of messages saying, what happened to your fingers? What happened to your hand? Um, so I still have my fingers. Uh, I was in a cast for about five weeks and basically got into a little accident in the car and had to get it casted up when I was in Philippines. Uh, but they're all good, they're, they're pretty much healing. So I've got my notebook, I got some iced coffee um, and the plan for today is to get back into learning ICT which honestly guys, I've not been looking at ICT content for like properly, I would say two months. Definitely lost momentum during my travels in Asia but that's okay and this is why I love sharing my journey with you guys because it gets rid of the the idea of always as if you're always hustling or like learning content like there's gonna be days when even I switch off um, but we're gonna get back into it I'm gonna be starting to go through episodes 18 19 that's kind of where well 17 18 19 was where Michael started to apply ICT concepts to the forex market so I kind of want a little refresh on that and yeah let's get to work <laughs> Just to annoy you so that way you can get more attentive. <laughs> Pay attention. <laughs> this is all. 
<laughs> I've um, missed watching Michael and like his little inside jokes. So I'm just looking at the Euro dollar chart and pretty much using the blueprint that Michael uses to today's charts. And it's just coming up to around 8, 8.30 New York time. So bearing in mind that Michael's model, they uh, it's imprinted on the New York session and talks a lot about just trading between 7 a.m. 10 a.m. New York time for that New York kill zone. Um, so I'm just gonna flip the camera over and show you guys sort of this setup, which to be honest, I wouldn't have really seen or taken. Um, also, this, the stop loss sizing is completely different, but it's just cool to see um, entry or like this massive impulse happening within this New York kill zone that Michael talks about. And if I just go on the 15 minute, you guys will see that we're getting uh, lots of buying pressure happening within this fair value gap on the 15. Um, and again, just fueling the move to the upside. So quick break from studying some ICC concepts. We've got food from the market, literally one of the best places, which is I think called Rooster Run. My go-to is the thighs bonus box, spicy fries, spicy chicken, I need the protein. And speaking of protein, I've been slowly trying to get back into the gym. It's been a long while um in terms of like working out and yeah i'm excited like i think the overall theme i guess of my life coming back from my travels is just excitement and i'm just looking forward to the future i don't know it's crazy to think about it but like it's safe for me to say that this is the first time i'm actually really excited for my future and like really looking forward to it like there's so much that's going to happen and that's going to change and i think that's just going to reflect on the content you're you guys are going to see and yeah i feel like i'm going to ramble but I'm, I'm in such a good headspace at the moment and i'm glad that i get to kind of share this journey with you guys um and show you the times i switch on switch off from work uh when i get stressed when i get anxious or when i'm you know again like looking forward to the future and yeah, I mean, just cause I'm having like excitement about the future and I'm, I'm in like a good place doesn't always mean that, you know, I don't get stressed. Like I still get extremely stressed from work, uh, just from the pressure that I put on myself as well. Um, but there's a lot of um, changes that have been happening and especially like coming in the coming next couple months. Um, so that's pretty cool. And I hope you find this encouraging and quite realistic because I know there's a lot of traders out there that kind of just flex the good life and um, I know I came back from traveling but it's been stressful also coming back home even though there's the over overall feeling of excitement it's stressful because I'm also finding a new place uh, to live so so that's a couple changes in my life uh, but it's exciting but it's also stressful but that's okay because you know positivity always wins and I, I have to say that like a lot of the reason that I went to to travel and to go Philippines and Thailand was to kind of realign and obviously see the place and tour and stuff but realign and take a step back on where I want to be and where I want to go and I had to make sure that I'm, I was going the right way and I feel like a lot of my prayers a lot of my questions have been answered just coming back from the trip and you know putting all my faith and trust in God I know that I'm being led in the right path and I want all my choices and my decisions to continuously lead me to the path that I need to be in. Not necessarily where I want to be, but where I need to be. For the first time this year, I really feel like a, a kind of like weight off my shoulders in terms of, I really feel like I'm being led down the right way. Um, and I'm excited for the content to come. And my friends are saying that I am late to go meet them and yeah I'm gonna end this video here guys I hope you guys liked it again thank you so much for being patient with me and just following along my journey just tagging along really I'm excited to get back into the content and if you like the video give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed subscribe so you don't miss out on future content I'll see you guys in the next one take care god bless I know you don't mean to.